In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Brother HLL2460 DW or any other Brother printers that are looking similar to this one, as long as they have this control panel on the left side, to your Mac computer. So the first step is to connect your Brother printer to your Wi-Fi network. So first, make sure that your printer is turned on. And from here, you're going to press once on the back button. And then use the arrows here to navigate through the menu. Check the screen there until you select network. Once you're under network, press OK. Then with these arrows, navigate until you select WLAN Wi-Fi. And then you're going to see find network. Press OK. You may have set up wizard or something else on your brother printer if you do not see the find network. Press OK. It will say searching SSID. Wait just a few seconds. And now you're going to have all the Wi-Fi networks being displayed on the screen. You can shuffle through them with these arrows. Like this. These are all the Wi-Fi network around me. And just by doing this, I should find mine. Here we go. This is my Wi-Fi network. Once you're over it, press OK. And now you're going to see network key. Now it's time to type the password. This printer does not have any keyboard. It will be a hassle, but hey, we need to do it using only these up and down arrows. So go ahead and type it by going through all the characters using these buttons. Then once you're done typing your password, you're going to press OK. It will say apply settings. Press yes by clicking on the down arrow here. And it will uh, say over here connecting WLAN. Just wait a few seconds and you will get the connected message here telling you that the printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. And to make sure, look at the light over here. If the light stops blinking like the way it was before, it simply means that it's now connected to your Wi-Fi. Then once your brother printer is connected to your Wi-Fi network, we need to go on the Mac, go on the top left corner where you see the Mac uh, logo over there, click on it, go down and select System Preferences. Now, if you have a newer Mac, this menu may look different, but they all have the same settings. So you need to find printers and scanners. Mine is located over here. Maybe yours will be on the left side in a menu. So select printers and scanners. And then you're going to get this screen. Again, it may look different, but it's all about the same. And press the plus icon. You should have a plus icon somewhere where you can add printers. Once you tap this, your Mac computer will search for every printer connected to your Wi-Fi network. And over here, you should see Brother HLL2460DW. Or this is not your model, you should see your Brother printer appearing in this list anyway. Click on it until it's selected. And then on the lower right side, you should have an Add button. Click Add. Wait a few seconds. And here we go, your printer will be added. You should see it on the list over here. If we check, yes, it's over here. And it has a green icon, a green circle telling you that it's connected and ready to print. Now from here, if you want to check how much ink is left inside of the toner of your brother printer, you need to click on options and supply. And then over here on the top, you should have a supply level tab. Click on it and here we go. This is the ink level. Mine is full, so it's a big black bar showing over here. Now, let me show you how to print. It's very easy. So you're going to find and open on your Mac computer the actual document you want to print. Could be a picture or a text document, although this is a laser printer, so it won't print pictures really nicely since it's in black and white. And once you open it, you're going to go on the top uh, right, on the top left corner where it says files, file, sorry, and then go down and select print. On this menu on top, make sure that under printer, broader HL and the number of your model is selected. And then what's important is over here where it says preview, tap on this, go down and select media and quality. 
and you should see this small uh, option over here draft normal and best these are the three different quality settings for this broader printer so I suggest you keep it to normal for any text files but if you're going to print pictures or graphics that are a bit complicated and where you need to have the maximum quality out of this printer just slide it to best in my case I'll leave it to normal and when you're ready press print just make sure you have some paper inserted inside of your uh, broader printer. And here we go. The page just got printed. It looks nice. It looks perfect. So thanks for watching, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you want to support my channel, check the Amazon links in the description down below. If you want to get some toner cartridges or maybe some paper for your broader printer or maybe even just a brand new printer, check the affiliate links down there. If not, just leave a like, subscribe, comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.